Welcome, everybody. Hey, hey. <laughs> Good boy, Tucker. Work smarter where you want. This is learning at its most fun. Thank you for joining us for another Best Practice Partner Spotlight. Today, we have our partner, Hubley, here. And today we're going to be telling you how to stop letting your clients fall through the cracks. Are you afraid of forgetting something? Do you hate audits? Alleviate that fear and learn how Hubley can help you to automate your client service records with a breeze. Today I'm joined by Louie and Ron from Hubley. They're going to tell us a little bit about our new enhanced integration. Louie, Ron, welcome. Awesome. Thanks so much, Austin. A uh, quick introduction. My name is Louis Retief. I'm the CEO and co-founder at Hubly. Uh, super excited to be here today and to run everyone through a demo with Austin on some of the best practices to work with Hubly um, and Redtail together. All right. Awesome. Louis. Well, why don't you start off, uh, you and Ron, just give us a little bit about your guys' background and what is your role at Hubly? Awesome. So my background has uh, primarily been in the wealth management space. Prior to starting Hubly, I worked at a well-known robo-advisor. And in my role there, I designed and built technology that really brought efficiency and automation to investment advice. But similarly to a lot of financial advisors out there, and I'm sure many of you on this call, I've always been a bigger believer in comprehensive financial planning and managing the holistic services for individuals. And so we started Hubly with the mission uh, two years ago is can we help make advisors and their teams more productive uh, with our workflow tool? Awesome. So uh, Ron, go ahead and tell us about yourself and your role at Hubly. Awesome. Thanks, Austin. Uh, as Austin mentioned, my name is Ron. I'm one of the other co-founders here at Hubly. Uh, on the day-to-day -day here at Hubly, I actually lead all the training sessions and uh, our support team. Uh, so I'm responsible for making sure that every advisor, all of your support staff are successful in getting not only up and running with our product, but also in building your business over time. We work with every single firm that, um, that comes on, uh, hands on to get you started. But we also check in with you over time to learn from how you're running your business, the challenges you face, and that's how we continue improving not only our product, but also our, our key integrations like the one with Redtail. Awesome stuff. Louis, I'm gonna start the first question to you. Just in case we have some people on here that might not be familiar with Hubly and your guys' services, what problems do you solve for advisors? So a little background on Hubly and some of the problems we solve for advisors is since launching uh, two years ago, uh, we've been growing pretty fast as a community of advisors. Uh, we have worked with over 200 um, happy customers that have created over 16,000 workflows to streamline their services to their clients. And what we found through our community and the advisors we talk to on a day to day is there's essentially three key problems that advisors face when it comes to workflow management. The first one is streamlining your onboarding processes. We find that there's a lot of inconsistency across how advisors actually onboard their clients. And so we help bring a lot more consistency and repeatability to that initial client experience. The second problem is client check ins. And so on average, advisors are managing 100 plus check-ins every quarter. And so the scheduling, preparation, and follow-up processes we find are very tedious to manage and a lot of things end up falling through the cracks. And so we help bring a lot more structure and organization to your client check-in process. And lastly is managing client projects. We found that advisors are managing hundreds of client projects at any given time. And so actually tracking the progress and making sure those projects are completed for specific clients um, is quite difficult and making sure your team can actually collaborate on them. And so we make the project management side just a little bit easier as well. Wow, great stuff. All right, Ron, my question for you is that we've recently enhanced our integration together. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, that's correct. So we're always looking to improve our rental integration. As I mentioned, we're looking at how um, our mutual clients and how basically advisors are using both of our products. And recently we actually made an improvement to the client attributes that we pull into Hubly from your end clients, uh, including how the names are displayed um, and additional information around the clients, such as uh, important client dates. Uh, we also started to sync back completed workflows into Redtail, making that stronger connection so that when your team does finish those reviews and those projects, a record of that gets synced back into your Redtail Sierra. 
All right. Well, that's what our that's going to lead us to our overview for today. So uh, Louie and I are going to demonstrate sort of how this integration works and uh, some of the enhancements that you might notice uh, by using the both Redtail and Hubly integration. So um, Louie, do you want to kick us off? I'd love to. To give everyone a quick overview of the step-by-step -step process we're going to cover in the demo is the current best practice we're going to demonstrate is there's three common questions that we keep getting from our advisor community and from advisors we speak to at large is how to best leverage client categorization uh, to track service needs. Categorization, and Austin will touch on this as well, is one of the most powerful ways to start actually tracking and creating automations in how you manage your client engagements. And so we show you some ways how you can use Hubly and Redtail together and really leverage Redtail's tag groups for best practices client categorization. The second common question we get is how to best track historical service records for the things you've actually completed for clients. This is obviously important for compliance purposes, but more importantly, it's like you want to provide a high touch service to your clients that's proactive. And so how to best actually track and manage all of that. And the last one, which I know is everyone's favorites, is how to best manage client notes. Uh, client notes can actually be quite powerful and we find generally they're under leverage. And so Austin will, uh, and Redtail, Austin will show you how Redtail does client notes and we'll show you how Hubly actually uh, works with Redtail to track client notes as well. So the demo we're going to be going through is Austin's going to start off in Redtail. Um, he's going to show you how tags actually work, how you can best utilize tag groups to actually categorize your clients. I'm then going to take over and we're going to show you how tags are used in Hubly from Redtail and how you can actually automate your workflows with tag groups. Once we've shown you how the tags group can automate your workflows, we're going to show you how Hubly actually tracks your service record for clients and how we log that information back into Redtail. And at that point in time, Austin's actually going to take over and show you um, a completed workflow in Redtail that was logged by Hubly. And so we're essentially going to show you the full life cycle of tracking your service record for clients and really ensuring that nothing falls through the cracks. And so with that being said, Austin, I'll let you take over. All right, awesome. Well, we are recording this towards the end of March. So we are right in the middle of tax season. We have lots of advisors out there trying to um, provide tax services to their clients. Um, we, we see that more as a trend in the industry more and more advisors diversifying their services and providing things like tax consulting um, to clients. And so that's the example we're going to use today. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use all the contacts in my database and I'm going to find ones that I want to put into my tax review workflow. And so to do that, I'm going to head over to the left hand menu here and I'm going to choose my contacts. Now, if your Redtail database looks anything like mine, you know that we don't just have our clients in here. We have former clients, we have spouses of clients, children of clients, we have future prospects, right? And leads in our database. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my contact list here and I'm gonna just narrow it down so I can get real strategic on who I want to go ahead and put in that tax review workflow. So to do that, I'm gonna choose the advanced search option here. And I'm going to run an advanced search for the status of client. And that's gonna get me just a list of my clients in my database here. So type is contact, the field is going to be status. We're gonna set that status equal to, and we'll choose client. I'll click this green run button here. And this is going to go pull me back my 123 client records. Now that I have my client list established, I'm gonna go down the list here and I'm going to determine who do I want to add to my tax review workflow? So here I'm just gonna select a few at random. And once I've made my selections, I'm gonna come up here to contact options, choose bulk actions, and I'm going to add them to a tag group. And by adding them to a tag group, not only am I grouping this, these group of clients together as part of my tax review process, but I'm going to be able to take these contacts and sync them over into Hubly where I can go ahead and initiate the tax review workflow process. 
So here I have two options. I can either create a new tag group by just typing in here and choosing the first option to create a new tag group. Or in this case, I actually already have a tag group established. So I'll just scroll down here to the bottom and add them to my existing tax reviews for 2021. Okay, and so these five contacts have now been added to the tag group for tax review 2021 and thus are now available for me to use in Hubly. Awesome, thank you, Austin. And so what will happen in Hubly is we have a direct integration with Redtail. And so what you'll be able to see in Hubly is first and off without direct integration with Redtail is you essentially never have to rekey client data into Hubly from Redtail. We do a direct client sync. And so we sync in a lot of your information directly into Hubly. We sync in client contact information, your tag groups, client notes, and so we really have a strong integration to make sure our systems work well together. As you can see, uh, we actually have our Hubly workflows here, which is our tax preparation process, where we're taking clients through the initial tax organization stage to scheduling that review meeting and to really completing the filing. And so how you can leverage the tag groups from Redtail to automate this workflow is if you go into Hubly and you access the tag manager, this is actually where we sync in all of your Redtail tag groups. And you can basically see all of the tags that Austin has in his demo account. We're then gonna search for that tag group that Austin just created. And you can see that that has appeared in Hubly. If you click the tag group in Hubly, we actually display those clients that Austin added into the tag group right in our tag manager. And so a couple of things that you can now do because you have those clients in the tag group is you can do a couple of things in Hubly. The first thing that we actually recommend you do is you can automate adding those clients into the workflow at the right time when tax season is actually supposed to start. And so when you're in Hubly, you can go in and edit the workflow template. And then you can add a automation rule into Hubly. What the automation rule basically does is you can add a repeating rule that will basically look for any clients that have that existing tag group and it will add them into the workflow at a determined period of time. And so you can configure the rule and you can say that all my clients that are part of my tax review tag, I want them added into my tax workflow every one year starting in which at whenever you start your tax preparation process. Let's say it's in April since I know that taxes basically have been pushed back this year. And so you'd actually want to start that. And so when you add this rule, what Hubly will do is it will constantly be searching for clients with that tag group and they'll automatically add them in, into this workflow. Since we don't wanna wait till April 1st to start this workflow, uh, I'm gonna show you guys just a quick manual way that you can add those clients in via the tag group. And so you can just search for the tag group and you can actually just add those clients in. You can add those clients in manually. Hubly's gonna think and it's gonna basically be searching for all those clients in Redtail and it's gonna add them into the workflow. And so what happens when these clients get added into the workflow is they're automatically assigned the seven tasks that you added into that workflow. And you can see that all of them have been pre-populated with a reminder that you need to start that workflow. And so what you can then do is you can open up, let's use Kevin as an example, you can open up Kevin's client card. And this is where Hubly's integration with Redtail becomes quite powerful, is we really try to visualize as much of that data from Redtail as possible. In the top left here, we sync in all of your household information. On the right side here, you can pop into that client's Redtail profile, which we'll show you at the end here. And we sync in some of those important client dates that Ron mentioned and the contact information. You can also scroll down and you can see all of the tag groups that have been added to Kevin and you can see the tax reviews tag group at the bottom there. And so what you can then do in Hubly is you can basically go through, 
you can start completing all of the tasks that are part of the workflow. If there's a comment you want to add for a specific task on something that happened that you want to note, so for example, we sent the tax organizer digitally and are waiting on a response from Kevin. When this note is added in Hubly, it'll actually be added to the client profile in Redtail, which Austin will show you at the end as well when he goes to Kevin's profile. And then you can just continue completing the rest of the workflow. Completing the tasks, everything in Hubly is audit and date stamped. And what happens when you actually mark that workflow completed is we add a note into the Redtail profile, once again saying that Kevin Malone has finished the tax filing one tax organizer workflow. It's been marked completed by Louis at um, the specific time and date that I completed that task. And so what you can then do is you want to make sure that you have a compliant record both in Hubly and Redtail is you can basically go to the Redtail but button right here and you can click that and go directly into Kevin Malone's profile. And Austin's actually going to take over and show everyone that that note and that uh, completed workflow has been added to Kevin's profile in Redtail. Thanks, Louie. So here I am back in Redtail CRM. What I'm going to do is just go ahead and navigate over to Kevin's record by typing his name here into the search contacts. There he is. And then if we go over to his latest notes section, we can see that we've had two notes added in today. One note indicating the comment that Louis added that the tax organizer was sent digitally. Additionally, we also have the note indicating that the tax filing workflow has been completed. And then of course, if I need to, I also have a hyperlink here where I can click to view this workflow inside Hubly. So this goes back to our famous saying here at Redtail is if it's not Redtail, it didn't happen. Redtail is your source of truth. It's where all of your information should land for any interaction that you're having with a client, whether that's providing a service to them, whether that's a communication that you have, notes are the lifeblood of the CRM. And so if we need to report on these, we can always go to the notes tab here on the left hand side here. And we can go ahead and see a running list of all of the notes that we've entered in for Kevin up to the current date. You also have the ability to report on notes as well. If you go to the reports tab here in Redtail, we can go ahead and open up the notes report and the notes by contact report to report database wide on all of the notes entered into the database. And so again, if I scroll on down here, we can see that these notes here are available and ready for me to report on. So again, if it's not in Redtail, it didn't happen. And now Hubly workflows happen in Redtail because completed workflows and also workflow comments now come into the CRM system. Thanks so much for joining us today for this particular session. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to give us a call at 800 206 5030 option three for support or just shoot us an email over to support at redtailtechnology.com thanks a lot and have a great day